a women's march in the heart of downtown Buffalo with similar events taking place across the country and around the world this weekend. Good evening, I'm Leah Lando. Thank you for joining us on this Sunday. The Women's Solidarity March highlighting a number of issues as the huge crowd made its way through the heart of downtown Buffalo today. Here's a map with the star highlighting the stops that were made this afternoon, including City Hall, the Holding Center, the Board of Elections, Police Headquarters, the Homeless Jesus Statue, Lafayette Park, and the Federal Courthouse. We get more now from 7 Eyewitness News reporter Dave Thompson. It feels wonderful. I feel a part of and very important movement. Thousands joined together in Buffalo today for the second annual Women's Solidarity March. The march is part of a national movement that hopes to draw on the political power of women to create social change. And women here in Western New York say the time for that change is now. It's embarrassing the way the United States, our Congress has been acting. They're supposed to keep the president in check and they're not. So they need to do their jobs. And if they're not gonna do it, we're gonna get them out and we'll do it. Women we spoke with today say they feel the need to speak up now more than ever. It's our right, we have that liberty, that's what we fight for. And I think it's important that, that it be heard, how we feel, what we have to say. And Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul, who also attended Saturday's march in Seneca Falls at the Women's Rights National Historical Park, says there's one clear way for women to make an impact. We can change history by electing more women to office. Women, where are you? Get out there and start running. Dave Thompson, 7 Eyewitness News.